in September 1565, Jean Ribot and hundreds of his Huguenot sailors uh, were butchered at this place by the Spanish Catholic leader Mendoza. And according to ancient records, before he was butchered for his reformed faith, Jean Ribot chanted Psalm 132. His troubled life was just about to close before he entered the glory everlasting. And he died with the comfort of this psalm. And in all probability he chanted the Genevan version of the psalm, which was known and loved by Huguenots both in France as well as here. And uh, this is an English translation of that Genevan Psalter. Remember, Lord, how war and strife and hardships burden David's life. Recall his days with troubles rife, how to the Lord he swore aloud, to Jacob's mighty one he vowed. And yet apparently Ribot slightly changed the first line, which refers to David's struggles, and he applied them to himself by saying, Lord, remember me, as well as David of old. And the second verse of the psalm expresses how David was concerned to build a dwelling place for the Lord, for the, for the Ark of the Covenant, the temple, of course, which was later built by Solomon. But the concern of the Huguenots was to escape the religious wars and persecution in France, to come to Florida in order to practice and live the Reformed faith free from molestation and persecution. But the enemies of the Gospel followed them all the way to Florida, and here they ended their lives but it was in triumph. This was what motivated them. I will not enter my own house, or get into my bed, or drowse, or sleep till I have paid my vows, till I find for the Lord a place, for Jacob's God a dwelling place. So let us remember with humble thanksgiving before God the sacrifice, the martyrdom of Jean Ribot and the Huguenots of Florida.